Hey there, what is up you guys? I am Jerry and welcome back to the channel, The Chicago Griller. This is the show where I share my favorite tips, tricks, and recipes for the Weber Q. If you think that I could help you out, hit the like button and subscribe. Today's recipe was shared to me by a couple of loyal subscribers from Melbourne, Australia. Chris and his seven-year-old son, William, reached out to me on Instagram and shared to me a wings recipe that they gobbled down in their household. That was enough of an endorsement to me, so I decided to try it out for the channel today. Let's see how I do. Today on the channel, I'm going to be grilling up one and a half pounds of pre-cut chicken wings. You can get whole wings and split them yourself, but when the price is the same, I like to get them pre-cut. Anyways, remove from the packaging, place in a bowl, and then let's prepare the marinade. The marinade is simple, it's just pre-made Italian dressing that I got from the grocery store. It might sound a little bit out there, but this works really great. The oil in the marinade helps give the wings a nice crisp, and Italian dressing will give the wings a nice, sweet, and tangy flavor. Anyways, pour enough of the marinade onto your wings, and then mix thoroughly. Once your wings and your dressing are thoroughly mixed, set aside for at least one hour. After one hour, you're going to shake off any excess dressing from your wings and place them to the side for the next step. Again, we are just shaking the marinade dry. We're not patting it dry here. Now that all my wings are in this shallow dish, the next step is to season. You could start with just salt and pepper, but Chris and William's recipe calls for some paprika and some cumin as well. So first, we're gonna sprinkle some of the paprika over the surface of these wings, then follow that up with some cumin. I don't have a set amount measured out today. I'm just eyeballing it. Next up comes the salt and the pepper, of course. Grind both to taste. And now, with my clean hands, I'm going to get right in there and mix and pat all the seasonings onto all surfaces of my chicken wings. Once satisfied, prepare your roasting rack. So here I have my roasting rack lined with an aluminum foil heat shield. Go ahead and lay out your chicken wings on the rack. Be sure to leave a little bit of a gap between each of these wings so that the hot air can circulate around each wing on the grill. This particular roasting rack is a little bit on the small side. I got it from Amazon.com and it could fit about 10 to 14 wings depending on how efficiently I lay them out. Now that they're all on board, let's head on out to the grill. So today on my back patio, I have preheated my Weber Q2000 to a high heat. And all I have to do now is take the roasting rack, load it up with wings, and place them directly on the center of my grill. Go ahead and shut the lid. These wings are now going to roast for a total of about 40 minutes. However, after about halfway through the cook, at the 20 minute mark, we're going to check on our wings. And as you can see, the oil in the Italian dressing has crisped up the skin nicely already. You could hear some nice crackling. And this all smells pretty darn good already. Anyways, give all of your wings a flip at this time. And be sure to continue to leave a space between each wing so that the hot air can circulate around each wing. Then shut the lid and roast until crispy. So now, here I am at the 40 minute mark. These wings should be just about done. If you want to give it a temperature check, your target temperature for wings is 165 degrees Fahrenheit. And you'll see I'm a little bit over that today, but that's okay. Chicken wings with bone in are quite forgiving, and all it really does is it crisps up the skin even more. And so, that is how you grill up chicken wings with an Italian dressing marinade. These look really good, but I think it's time to try one of these out. Okay, Chris and William, moment of truth. Mm. 
Oh man, this is really good. This is really, really good. So that was one really, really tasty chicken wing. As you would expect, it was cooked to perfection. The skin was crispy and the Italian dressing really kicked it up another level. Chris and William, really, really nice job there. I hope I did you proud. If you want to give Chris a little bit of support, you could follow him on Instagram at the BBQ Carnivore. I've also been told that his son William plans on starting a YouTube channel, so I'll be sure to include a link below once that gets started. If you all have any recipe ideas you want to share to me, be sure to DM me on Instagram or leave me a message in the comments below as well. Thanks again as always for watching. Don't forget to join me next week to see what I'm cooking up on the channel. Bye now.